Hello everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm here with Brian and he's going to demonstrate three important details for us to escape from the mouth position. Am I right, Brian? That's correct. Okay, so before we do that, please, I'm going to ask you a favor. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us the thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that bell below because if you don't do that, the YouTube doesn't send you a notification when we upload a new video to our YouTube channel. Before we show you the technique, Brian has a story, the reason why he got so good with the skates from the mouth position. And I'm gonna pass to Brian, Brian's going to tell us this story. Brian, please tell us this story now, why you got so good with the mouth skate. Thank you, Cobra. All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you some details from the uh, mouth position from the bottom. I'm gonna be showing you how to escape and uh, the reason why I feel comfortable about these details is because throughout the years of my jiu-jitsu training, I've spent it uh, defending myself, mostly you know, in, in my white belt years, um, just being smashed all the time, uh, and really having to know how to properly defend myself and properly get out of positions so that I can keep on doing jiu-jitsu rather than just tapping and tapping and tapping. So hopefully uh, these details will help you guys, and um, it will help you uh, enjoy Jiu Jitsu a little bit more too. Alright, everyone. When I get my hand on someone's collar, okay, and I advance my knee the way I'm going to do so right now here, usually in this position I'll be able to finish, okay. And Brian is going to demonstrate one really good detail from this position. When someone gets this position, you don't have to give up. You can keep fighting a smart fight and put it back to the guard. All right, guys. So here from the mount position, one of the key things that you have to worry about is this arm right here, this hand inside my collar. Obviously, we can't get cross-choked at this point. We have to try to survive somehow. So just to give myself a little bit of help, I want to line my opponent's uh, wrist with my own thumb right here so that I have some space to breathe. Next, this arm right here is exposed. There is an arm bar here. So in order to prevent that from happening as soon as possible, I'm going to gather both my feet as close to my pelvis as possible. And once I gather my feet, I have really good, I have a really good ability to make a uh, a hip up movement. So now I'm going to lay one of my legs down. And we're going to do the same sort of motion before where I'm going to offset my hips and I'm going to push off the floor with my foot to generate power so I can drag this elbow back down to the floor. If I do it without connecting my feet and I try to drag this down, Cobra can easily pull my arm right back up and go for the arm bar or just keep it there to begin with. But we're going to not do that. We're going to put a foot down on the floor push off the floor by lifting up the hips and use that energy to protect my arms. Once I've hidden my arm here, there is no more cross choke and then there is no more arm bar. So momentarily, I'm safe for a couple seconds. Cabrini is really good at Jiu Jitsu, so it's very possible for him to advance to a different position. But in that meantime, we're assuming that this is taking place in the span of seconds. Cobrinha's leg right here is very light momentarily, and his other knee is very heavy. I want to take advantage of that by continuing to face the side that uh, my hips are already facing, and I'm going to exit my pelvis towards the weak part of his ankle while protecting myself from all the submissions. Here I've made a shrimp movement. Cobrinha's balancing on his leg right here, and I'm going to just very easily get to the single leg position, or I can underhook, and I can go to uh, an X guard if I so choose. All right, everybody, thank you very much for watching our channel, and also thank you, Brian, very much for showing those details to take our game, my game, and your game, who are watching us to the next level. Thank you, Brian. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys remember the details about protecting yourself at all times when you're in, in positions where uh, you feel like you're in danger. Try not to give up, 
Think about surviving and always think about protecting the submission, surviving first, and then getting.